Alright GM, welcome back to some more Slay the Spire, and we are on the second floor, going up against the Summoners. Okay, I don't know what it's actually called, but I like to call him the Summoner, I think it's a cool name. So, we're back with this deck. Oh yeah, I remember now. So we got Ice Cream, which is an auto-win in most Slay the Spire games, and then we ended up building a monstrosity, because winning's just not good enough. Okay, uh, wow, this map. Well... It's pretty much been decided for us. Like, you know, we probably want to go down this path. <laughs> that other random line doesn't seem that good. So we're trying to discard a lot of stuff, but we don't have any discard payoffs, is the thing. So, let's try and do this just right, shall we? I feel like this is going to be a matchup where this guy doesn't last very long, so... Noxious fumes might not be too insane here. Hmm. So I could set up something and then calculate a gamble and then get that thing for free, but there's really nothing in this hand that I'd really want to have for free that isn't already there. Good dagger throw. There's nothing stopping me from just doing that right now, is there? No. Survivor. Eh. Get rid. Let's... Let's do setup. On... Noxious fumes. Because we'll calculate and gamble it. Essentially. This is a problem. Actually, I should have thought about that. That's a mistake. Missed out on 12 points of damage there, because I can't calculate Gamble and Noxious Fumes, but we did say that we didn't really care. So there is also that. So I can concentrate, get rid of the defense. I could strike, and then unload, get rid of Calculate Gamble. we got two energy left over. We're going to draw Noxious Fumes for free next turn. It's going to hex us, which means that non-attack cards put Dazed into our deck. That should be fine. So we're going to choke you. The fumes. To do the three damage and also get things done. I'm not really fussed about the dazes, honestly. Well laid plans. Because we're getting this three points of damage in. And any energy that we don't use is going straight into the next turn anyway. Alright. Let's try and kill you here. We cannot because Masterful Stab is no longer enabled. Ew. Alright, well, strike, strike. Pass the turn. No reason to defend. We'll keep Masterful Stab. We're not going to be able to pull it off, actually. We'll take it anyway. We might be able to pull it off the next turn. The problem is, every single time we have to use a non-attack card to enable it, we're going to get dazed into our deck, so... The likelihood of that is pretty slim. Let's calculate Gamble. Hoping for something a little better. We can use this fire potion, I suppose. And I think this is the time to use it, because I don't want to take that 22. Okay, we get one back immediately. Skewer. Hello, payoff. That's the ice cream payoff, at least. So we're going to take it. We haven't really got a big energy payoff at the moment. I'm going to go the question mark route. I'm hoping for like a choose your own card kind of thing. Lose the art of war. I think we will. It goes off occasionally, but not consistently, and Black Star goes off consistently, so. Let's get Loth's Gift. Triples the chance of receiving rare cards as monster rewards. So if we got the gold discard gain energy card, we'll be in business. Because we can just like cycle our entire deck until we get skewer. And we're absolutely looking to find some cards here. So we got Storm of Steel. I saw the Noloth thing flicker there, so Storm of Steel is pretty much what appeared there. Is there a discard card in here? There's more Concentrates. Outmaneuver. Prepared is a thing. Reflex. Oh, there's one. Didn't spot that. Let's take Reflex. We finally have a payoff. Okay, so 
Monster rewards get us gold cards. Question mark can also get us gold cards, though. Ah. Uh, let's do fights, because then we can go to this shop, potentially. Is that where we want to go? I think it is. We hit an elite, so we get Black Star to trigger. If we get Unceasing Top, we're in a good spot. It's kind of the relic to beat all relics. And then we got a shop opportunity with plenty of gold to find it as well. Which leads into another shop or another elite. Plenty of campfires. Yeah. Let's look for those gold cards. Take good advantage of Norse gift here. Okay, this is a, this is a hand and a half. So let's choke, neutralize, concentrate, strike, strike, and then we play out this entire hand. So blocking all the damage, dealing six. Unload with nothing to discard, but that's fine. That's kind of where we want to be. And then another 15 damage plus another three. Solid. Okay. Got to get through 11 block. We can technically do it with this hand. 21 attack coming in. What, what's with all these big hits? Jeez, we've got the fire potion again to take him out if we don't want to take damage here. So I'm going to dagger throw. Get rid of... Probably noxious fumes, it doesn't seem too relevant right here. I think I'm just going to strike fire potion, honestly. CBA taking that extra damage. Let's just take him out. 12 gold, and... Beautiful, sneaky strike. Just what I want to see. All right, keep on fighting. Okay, so I was a little worried right at the very beginning of the previous run that we would seriously, seriously struggle with enabling this run, but we've just run into a lot of stuff now. So if you've discarded a card this turn, this becomes completely free. We've got the concentration to gain as energy as well, so let's choke. We're being hit for 24, but we should be okay, I think. As long as we discard the right stuff. Let's... Hmm. Let's concentrate. Dealing three. Underneath the armor, I believe. Um. I want to get empty-handed for Masterful Strike. We've got three energy after this. This is free. So it's doable, easily. Just discard the strike, I guess. Oh yeah, I've got to discard two. That's also fine. Okay, this becomes free. It's all wacky. Well laid plans. We've got to do this correctly because we've got a survivor here. Because if otherwise I'd discard this Masterful Stab, which we don't really want to do. I want to whack you real hard there and get your life down to a pretty disgusting amount. We do take 16 though. There was definitely a line where we took less damage, but we also dealt less damage, so I was kind of not really into that idea. Let's dagger throw you. Discard Reflex to draw a card. Let's strike you. Noxious fumes. We'll do a setup on a defend because we can. Keep the defend because we can. All right. 17 damage. Here we go. Easy. <laughs> Good old skewer. All right. Another dagger throw. I guess we could take that. We have payoffs now, so... Dagger throw is a solid payoff. Let's smith, and I think I want to smith... 
10 damage X times is really good. It's really good. I also like choke upgrade, I like reflex upgrade because it nets your cards. Makes the dagger throws better, does the reflex. I feel like we're generating enough energy already that this is currently acceptable. It could of, of course be better as a 10, and it is. But I think this just like this is the upgrade to help the deck out as a whole throughout. Like this is the extreme we've gone several turns, let's win kind of card. This is the we've just setting up, let's do really well kind of turn. I'm gonna take the reflex plus. I should have checked what the um oh no the sneaky stab's already uh upgraded, isn't it? Sneaky strike. We could also set it up as well, which means that we net energy. Ooh, combo. Okay, well we're definitely taking on the elite because we have Black Star. Wow. Okay. So Survivor discards Reflex, draw two cards. I don't want to take damage here if I can help it. Survivor, discard Reflex, draw two. Ugh. It's real bad. If I unloaded, I would be left with five cards. Wouldn't get me closer to the masterful stab there, unfortunately. Actually, would it? Five. One energy left now. No, no, no. Is this a noxious fumes situation? I think it could be. I think it is. Let's get some fumes going. And I guess I just unload. This is the most amount of damage. And we discard some stuff. Alright. Taking a little bit of damage here, getting a wound in our deck. It's not the worst amount of damage I've ever taken though. Dagger throw is wonderful. Calculated gamble in this particular hand is not great though. Discard. No, oh, no, no, no. <laughs> oh, nearly. Let's get rid of calculated gamble then. Sneaky strike. Is free. Neutralize. Well laid plans. Block a bit. Take more damage, unfortunately. Yeah, the fumes is definitely going to be very, very useful here. We need ways to just generate more cards. So this is not it. This is not it. On the upside though, if we ever get our um, skewer, we're probably gonna win. We could also just straight up die here, is a thing that could happen. So I'm gonna... Yeah, I'm gonna do all we can do really. This nothing to this hand really it is completely without yeah these two are not gonna combo together so I'm just gonna concentrate gain some energy take another huge hit I need that big skewer oh my god all right let's do a dagger throw first you never know what we might draw. Well, there's a block. We're not just dead, I don't think. Let's discard setup. Neutralize. Yeah, we're not just dead. Though we are pretty close. I don't save much damage by not using these strikes. Skew is worth seven, those strikes are worth six. Per energy. We're at eight. We could just die. We could just straight up die. Alright, unload. I think. 
Unload draws me two more cards, discards these two defense. Do I want to use these defense first? Am I just dead without them? It's ten block. I'm just dead regardless, right? So I need to aim to win this turn. As much as that sucks. Yeah. GG. Oh my god. Ah, I really hate these early game defeats. They suck so much. Well, we hardly had the most overpowered build in the world, right? So, I can't be that angry about that, but... That's the end of our Ascension run on that one, unfortunately. Did not manage to get our third win in a row, I think it was. Yeah, the deck sucked. We needed more, like, reflexes and more, um, tacticians, I think they're called. The gold ones. There's also the damage ones. We could have had sneaky strikes. Plenty of those. It just didn't... It didn't go off. It didn't do what it needed to do, and it was just kind of a little bit of a mess. It's what you get with these monstrosities, but sometimes they end up doing some really broken, stupid stuff. This one had the potential, we just didn't find it in time. Like, chaining together big storm counts, essentially, would have been nice. Like, constantly discarding and drawing reflexes, gaining energy constantly. Trying to go infinite. That would have been where this build would have ended up, but it was not meant to be. Died pretty early in the floor. Just about halfway. That's the halfway point right there. But, yeah, whatever. We're back again anyway tomorrow with some more Slay the Spy. We'll be going into the Ironclad Ascension something. Don't know what ascension it is. Let's find out. I don't think it's an ascension large number. I think it's two, maybe. Let's find out. Yeah, ascension two. We'll be back again tomorrow with that anyway. So if you have enjoyed, like, subscribe, hit that little bell icon, and that'll give you notifications when I release videos in the future. And I will see you all next time. Bye bye.